the fourth quarter of last year felt a lot like 2010. You know, it was, it was a slug fest. It wasn't short sales anymore, but it was just, people were tired of the velocity of the market. We were in that transition from a speed market to a skills market. A lot of people didn't adapt to it fast. So myself and my buddy, Jimmy Mackin, another one of my dear friends, we decided, what if we created a campaign or a series of campaigns, including like the emails that you just saw? And we engaged a bunch of clients, not all my clients. It was like a, you know, sub 23, 2400 people. The exact number will be up in a sec. From September 15th to December 31st. And here's what happened. 2,394 agents participated in what we call the 100K and 100 day program. And they generated 7,404 listings that sold in the fourth quarter. They sold 10,837 buyer sales. I still don't know why we have that one last. It really should be first. And they generated 18,000 listing appointments. 18,000 listing appointments listed well more than 7,404, but we wanted to count the sales side of the listing sold. In the fourth quarter of last year, they did just call it just shy of $7.5 billion in volume. 7.49, call it $7.5 billion in volume. Now, why? because they were communicating with their customers because they were taking action. And what every one of them understood, and this is the real key because Chris knows we track how many conversations, you know, new conversations, follow-up conversations. We were running it, as you can see there, one out of 11, one out of 11 conversations equated to a closing in the fourth quarter of last year. That's insane, Chris. Now, you, you're probably gonna say, if you're out there paying attention, hey, I'm assuming they were working with their database more than, say, cold calling. Well, of course, of course they were. And I'm going to show you the one campaign that crushed them all with a little modern twist. But first, you need to understand, if you want to make the money, if you want to serve customers, if you want to build your business, again, I go back to your systems, your discipline, your mindset, your belief, the plays that you run. What Chris and I both know for as long as we've known each other, you got to have meaningful, valuable, personal conversations. That's what leads to the discussion of, you know, Chris, Kath and I are actually thinking about, you know, selling our place in Dallas and, you know, maybe relocating to Wyoming. Well, tell me more about that. That leads to a listing appointment and that's where you generate listings. So what I got to get across to everybody is most of you aren't having enough meaningful, valuable, personal conversations, right? Like, I get it. I spend a lot of money on advertising and I want those inbound leads, of course, but you know, I've got a decent enough brand. They know me, they like me, they trust me to an extent. They have a conversation with my team and we do some business together. If you're not doing that at scale and you're sitting on a large database, you could argue today there is so much confusion in the marketplace, but having meaningful, valuable personal conversations, and this is what everybody tells me, but but Tom, it takes so long to talk to my past clients in Sphere. I'm like, well, what's your alternative? They talk to somebody else, right? Hey, Tom, they how go about, to Zillow. How about, is there anything, I'm, I'm looking at this and thinking, wow, if there was ever a time where with buyers, we had to have the exact <sighs> same mindset, it's 1, now. 1,000%. Um, yep, 1,000%. Yeah. yeah. So let's keep jamming. You ready? So Chris, here's the campaign that is crushing right now for the 465 of you that are like, okay, I'll send the email. I'll test the direct mail piece. By the way, you, you saw his average sales price, pretty bananas. Zillow gave us a gift. Zillow gave us a gift where they added, if you pay attention now to the Zestimate, the Zestimate history. So in the fourth quarter of last year, we were just sending, hey, Chris, Zillow says your home is worth this. I've got my opinion. What do you think? Now we can take it one step further. We go to Zillow and we do a little like look back and you see the little red box there, Zestimate history and details. We click on that and it gives me the details. Now I can say, wait, I sold this person a house in 2018, in 2020, in 2017. And now I've got the Zestimate history, even though we know it's wrong. I take a screenshot of it and I send him this. Hey, Chris, you're going to love this. I was on Zillow earlier today, checking out your home. Since you guys bought in 2018, Zillow estimates your home's value is increased by $435,000. So your current zest would be about 1.6 million. What do you think? And I would actually put this emoji there, like the little, huh? You know, like, what do you think? I've got my opinion, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. That campaign 
right now for every one of you. And what I love about it is you could do five of those a day. You could do 10 of those a day. But one out of every 11 conversations is creating a closing. You, you show me. Now, again, I'm going to make the statement to you again. Listings are earned. Buyers, arbitrage, right? Arbitrage all day long. Put some money in, get those buyers, build up your database. They're both right. But I want to be very clear. Listings are earned. You got to have meaningful conversations with people that you know and people that you don't know. The sales cycle, Chris, we've seen go from, hey, we're going to list our home. We're going to put it on the market during 2021. And the next day they do. Right now, we're looking at an 18-month sales cycle. So if you're not in those conversations with people early, going over early, having conversations, going deep, staying connected, there's just a good chance that they're going to run into another real estate agent. We all saw the 1,000-watt report that came out that said the average consumer knows like 11 real estate agents. Think about that.